Addis Ababa Science and Technology University has established its center of excellence to drive research innovation and technological advancement in key sector. Among these centers, one that stands out in shaping the future of automation, digital transformation, and intelligence system is Artificial Intelligence and Robotics Center of Excellence. This center is dedicated to advancing AI and robotics research, developing smart solutions, and contributing to Ethiopia's transition into a technological-driven economy. We are joined today by Dr. Habib Mohammed, the head of Artificial Intelligence and Robotics Center of Excellence at ASTU. In this insightful discussion, he will share the center's vision, ongoing initiative, and impacts on industries and societies. Stay tuned. Uh, my name is Habib Mohammed. Uh, I'm an electrical engineer, and I'm the head of uh, Artificial Intelligence and Robotics Center of Excellence, which is uh, one of the eight center of excellence that has been established in back 20, uh, 20, 2016. So uh, this artificial intelligence and robotics center of excellence has been established uh, to create uh, actually a close collaboration between the academia and the industry, particularly uh, in the field of artificial intelligence uh, and robotics. Uh, so. Uh, the mission is bridging the gap between the industry and the, the, the academia or mm -hmm. the university. Mm -hmm. Its vision is to be the leading center of excellence in Africa, mm -hmm. uh, uh, particularly with the state-of-the-art uh, laboratories in artificial intelligence and robotics. Mm -hmm. And also we have, uh, the center has its own objectives actually. Mm -hmm. So the, the, there are about uh, six objectives, uh, uh, strengths in the industry and the academia linkage is one of the objectives, promoting standards and real problem solving uh, research works in the area of AI and robotics is another objective to disseminate knowledge and expertise in the area of artificial intelligence and robotics are another objective mm -hmm. to carry out advanced interdisciplinary research uh, in the area of AI and robotics. But this artificial intelligence by its nature, it's multidisciplinary. Mm -hmm. It's not a single field. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need to have a mix of different fields from the computer science, from electrical engineering, from math, from statistics, mm -hmm. from software engineering and so on. And also uh, to generate a training the manpower, uh, mm -hmm. particularly we have designed a curriculum uh, in the area of artificial intelligence for MS and PhD program. We have started it already. That is our one objective that, that we have accomplished this year. And to take up industrial projects with specific deliverables, which is uh, our main target is to solve real-time problem. Uh, so our target is to bridge the gap between the academy and the industry. Mm -hmm. So the industry uh, will give us the problem and we will solve those problems for them uh, so as to automate their uh, their uh, work. And to conduct outreach programs through workshop and uh, tailored training is uh, another objective. The, the main responsibility of the head is uh, to serve as a chief research officer of the COE. Mm -hmm and it's accountable to the Research and Center of Excellence uh, Directorate. Minister and evaluate the progress of research. Our research is, it might be internal or external research, it might be technology transfer, it, it might be uh, consultancy. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's uh, responsible, it's the head to uh, just monitor the progress of uh, that work. To mobilize the university research staff, and the postgraduate student toward the COT thematic area. We have about nine thematic areas, so the students will be aligned in that nine thematic area, mm -hmm. and the staff has to be aligned in a core and associate membership to the thematic area. Mm -hmm. Uh, initiate local, national, regional, and international research development collaboration is another responsibility of the center head. And the other one is execute industry consultancy project is another uh, responsibility of the center head. Develop curriculum for uh, which is multidisciplinary. As I told you, artificial intelligence is multidisciplinary. So facilitating and monitoring such a kind of curriculum is one responsibility. Uh, I have I've told you there are about nine thematic areas. Mm -hmm. The first thematic area artificial uh, artificial neural network. Mm -hmm. The other one is evolutionary and genetic computing, uh, computer vision and pattern recognition, robotics, industrial automation and control, expert system, mm -hmm. uh, smart city and uh, digitalization, uh, natural language processing and machine learning. Mm -hmm. These are uh, the nine center of, I mean, nine thematic areas. So 
uh, whenever you came as a member in artificial intelligence and robotics, you have to align yourself mm -hmm. uh, in those nine thematic areas. Uh, among uh, at least one of the thematic areas has to be aligned with your profession mm -hmm. as a core member or an associate member. Mm -hmm. And also the PG students that came from the, from different departments has to be aligned with one of these thematic areas mm -hmm. as actual. Mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, three tasks mm -hmm. particularly. Uh, there are research. When when we say research, there is internal grant research mm -hmm. and external grant research. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also there is a consultancy, there is a technology transfer, and uh, there is a community uh, engagement. Actually, the, the, there are four, four tasks. Mm -hmm. So when we see uh, internal research grant, this is actually primarily uh, designed to support recently graduated PhD uh, researchers, mm -hmm. just to motivate them uh, so as to align themselves to the real problem solving capabilities in one of these thematic areas. So this grant aim to motivate uh, just early career researchers to mm -hmm. uh, engage in action research and prepare uh, them uh, for applying uh, for external funding. Once we give them that uh, internal grant, we are not giving them again mm -hmm. because we, they, are, they are supposed to find another external mm -hmm. grant so as to uh, just bring funds from the outside. Uh, uh, the internal external grant is uh, we hunt off calls, the, the calls, and we act. Uh, we write a proposal, uh, whether in a consortium manner, by collaborating different institutions from uh, uh, Ethiopia or from Africa or from Europe. And we act them together and then uh, we secure funds in such a way. Uh, for example, in 2024, mm -hmm. we have wrote about 21 uh, external grant proposals. And this year, so far, we have wrote about, we have submitted uh, about 14 grant proposals, uh, 14, one, four. Uh, among those 21 uh, grant proposals that has been submitted through our Center of Excellence, we have started to, uh, secured two external grant uh, projects. We are acting actually in different consultancy projects. And also we have started a, a resource pool also with different uh, reputable national institutions. Uh, for example, uh, we, we have a knowledge, an expert, and they do have the fund. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are doing in collaboration manner. We give them the expertise and they give us a funding. We are doing a, such a kind of uh, modalities uh, currently. So there are uh, different projects that has been given for different uh, PhD researchers mm -hmm. under artificial intelligence, uh, starting from 2020. Uh, actually, the center has been started uh, in 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the, the, the report I got, the, the internal research grant that has been given for different researchers has been started in 2020 under mm -hmm. uh, my center of excellence. Yeah. So different uh, technology transfer and internal grant projects has been uh, completed mm -hmm. and uh, some of them are ongoing actually. Uh, for uh, if uh, we take an example, for example, in 2017 in Ethiopian academic year, yeah. last year, we give three uh, internal grant projects. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also, we have completed three technology transfer projects. I have told you, we have yeah. submitted f uh, 21 external grant projects at the national level and an external, uh, international level. And we have secured uh, two in external, externally funded uh, projects mm -hmm. oh. this year. Yeah. We have wrote and we have submitted about 14 projects. And we are looking for, for the results and I hope uh, there will be a good result. Mm -hmm. uh, and also we do have about eight consultancy projects mm -hmm. and two of them has been complete mm -hmm. and the other are ongoing. Mm -hmm. We have tried to promote us to in different uh, uh, occasions and mm -hmm. events, mm -hmm. uh, for example, in China, in Russia, mm -hmm. uh, in, in India. We have tried to make some collaboration, some kind of uh, international collaboration mm -hmm. by participating in different occasions in, 
in different workshop mm -hmm. and international uh, workshops. Mm -hmm. This AI and the Robotics Center of Excellence uh, contribute to the national development as well as the industry uh, by driving innovation, improving efficiency, mm -hmm. as well as uh, by fostering economic growth because we're, we're hunting for grants and we're bringing money. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are getting foreign currencies, so yeah. that's one economic growth. And we are supporting research and development R&D in cutting each technologies. Well, that is another contribution which helps the industries integrate this AI and robotic into their operations mm -hmm. and also uh, enable automation uh, uh, where just uh, in a position to do different uh, RP systems or to automate their system mm -hmm. so enable automation reduce costs and decrease product uh, <clears throat> this artificial intelligence and robotics center of excellence uh, may contribute to the national development and the industry by actually driving innovation improvement and also efficiency by fostering economic growth mm -hmm. because we are acting in different consultancy projects with different uh, external projects mm -hmm. so we are hunting for a calls and we are uh, securing projects so we are bringing money so mm -hmm. that's one contribution of economic growth uh, supporting research and development in cutting edge technologies and other contribution mm -hmm. which helping industries to integrate AI into their uh, operations uh, to enable automation and also reduce costs because we are automating uh, their system uh, which needs a repetitive uh, processes by automating uh, their system which reduces their cost and also increasing their productivity. Mm -hmm. This center will help companies to make uh, uh, actually data-driven decisions which leading to a smarter business strategies and offer trainings to upskill workers participating uh, them for AI related jobs because we are giving different trainings from different stakeholders uh, and also smart city development as you are in aware the yeah. smart city uh, plan have been uh, prepared by this university mm -hmm. so in smart city development optimization traffic and energy consumption and also public safety is uh, actually they are connected for each other so mm -hmm. we are contributing in that aspect and also we are uh, doing some projects uh, in the area of health uh, speak particularly in predicting disease outbreaks, mm -hmm. that is uh, another uh, contribution. So uh, artificial intelligence and robotics are doing different contribution for the country. We do have different collaborations at the national and international level. Mm -hmm. We do have INSA, MIDI, mm -hmm. National ID, Dronesh Beijing, Minister of Health, uh, Public Health Center, Oryxen from US, Oslomet from Norway, uh, at Sava University, uh, uni collaboration from Italy, IE Network from private organization Mint, Belgium, CMB Africa, South Korean Embassy, Germany, Rwanda, Nigeria, Senegal, mm -hmm. South Africa, UK, ICRC, and African Union. Mm -hmm. So in one way or the other, we are uh, collaborating with this uh, institution. Uh, and also when we write, when we act on the international court, international call, uh, just to act on the, in the externally funded projects, uh, we uh, did write different proposals in consortium manner. So our consortiums are Italy, Denmark, uh, Norway, Belgium, Kenya, Botswana, Rwanda and o Uganda are our collaborators to to write the proposals under Artificial Intelligence and Robotics and oh. This year, we have already opened a program in a medicine PhD program mm -hmm. that is totally aligned with uh, the center and also uh, it's multidisciplinary. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have selected two PhD students and five MS students this year. Mm -hmm. The key challenges uh, included in our center is actually uh, limitation of infrastructure, uh, uh, competing resources and quality data, because these are very important. Uh, as you may aware, ASTU has uh, built a very uh, standard research park, which is uh, comprises the ninth center of excellence mm -hmm. by spending 4.3 billion Ethiopian mm -hmm. But the problem is uh, because of the inflation issue, uh, we are not uh, uh, in a position to 
equip all those center of excellences. We actually, we do have some uh, limited computational resources mm -hmm. that has been scattered in different center of excellence. So what we did is we collected all those nine high performance computers and we cluster them together and put them in the in center, center at artificial intelligence and robotics. And now uh, we solve the problem of the computational resource by clustering all those nine uh, uh, nine uh, high performance computer. Mm. Uh, uh, as for the data quality challenge, mm. we are the, just collaborating with different institutions uh, that ha that are uh, very rich in quality data, mm. like health data and artificial intelligence mm. data. So we are trying to solve those challenges by collaborating, collaboratively working with. Uh, different institution uh, from the government side, from the enterprise side. My plan to the future is, uh, I, I do have actually 170 members. Uh, I want more members and also uh, expanding the members are one, 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 of target, one, one target of mine to the future. Develop guideline for incentivizing staff who, who is engaging uh, in the research activities uh, another uh, uh, actually plan, collaborate with private organizations that specialize in industrial automation and robotics, uh, uh, enabling mutual benefits mm -hmm. uh, and also our experts provide expertise mm -hmm. while uh, uh, we gain access to their advanced technologies, mm -hmm. uh, another uh, plan to the future. Writing and submit targeted external grant proposals to secure more projects is another plan of me to bring some uh, foreign currencies to the uh, university as well as for the country. A strengthening contribution to both the scientific community as well as for the local uh, industries is another uh, plan that I have planned. Leveraging available resources to generate funding and support our experts, enhancing the staff resource pool, so elevate Astos reputation, especially, particularly uh, in AI mm -hmm. by securing, securing uh, different fundings and making meaningful social contribution is uh, my future plan actually. Uh, one challenge that uh, we faced is that uh, we, we act on the external grant proposals mm -hmm. And once they have been rejected, the, 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 some members are just desperated mm -hmm. because of their rejection, mm -hmm. but uh, we don't have to be desperated or despair in that aspect because uh, we have to act repeatedly and write more researches and then we uh, hopefully we will secure more projects and we'll benefit out of it. So this is our, uh, my message to the members.